Well, hello there, and welcome once again to The Vita Show. I am your host, Nae Vita, and I have a very, very uh, wonderful show and informative show for you guys today. I would like to introduce my guest, Gail. Uh, Gail, thank you for coming out. Would you tell the viewing audience a little bit about who you are? Thank you, Vita, for having me. I'm Gail Bost. I'm the Development Director for the American Lung Association here in Nashville. Um, and we are the oldest nonprofit health-related agency in the country. And we're here today to talk about our upcoming asthma walk. Well, we need to just get right into that, Gail. Tell us a little bit, give us some basic information about this. You said asthma mm -hmm. walk? Okay. The asthma walk is going to take place on May 3rd out at the Nashville Zoo, which is a great place to go wow. out and have a wonderful family morning. Um, the registration starts at 8 o'clock, and the walk itself will start at 9.30. And it's going to be a f morning full of fun activities. Um, we're going to have lots of food, music, entertainment, things to do, and of course, walking. Walking. All right. Uh, let's talk a little bit about asthma. What is this illness? And is it serious? Can somebody die? Mm -hmm. Yes, asthma is a very serious illness. And um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize that it's as serious as, as it is. And yes, people do die from it. 11 people die from it every single day. 11? Mm -hmm. um, uh, asthma is um, growing in epidemic proportions. And um, they don't really know what causes it. Um, so there's been a lot of research that's been done in the last number of years trying to find a cure for it but mm -hmm. um, at this point they they know that it it has some it can be hereditary but um, you can get it as a child or you can you know go your whole life and, and not get it until you're an adult and really? they don't really know why um, so there's a lot that they're still trying to figure out about the illness and um, and it's a disease that most people like I said don't really realize that it's that it's as serious as it is. And so it's kind of almost, it could possibly be in every family. Um, it, asthma runs in one out of every five families. Wow. There is somebody within that family that has asthma. One in every 14 um, Americans. In the state of Tennessee alone, there's 437,000 people who suffer from asthma. That was my next question. I was going to ask uh, how many Tennesseans did we consider that, that was affected mm -hmm. by this uh, disease. Yep, almost 500,000. And, and just in Tennessee? Just in Tennessee. Just in Tennessee. And out of that, um, 133,000 of those are kids under the age of 18. What? So it's a, it's a devastating illness that um, I'm hoping that after a program like today that more people are going to um, understand what these um, People who have to live with it on a daily basis have to go through. What kind of let's, What does a person go through when they have an asthma attack? Uh, let's look at that a little bit. Well, what happens when you have asthma is that um, you have your lungs, your your airways are always in a state of inflammation, and when you come across a trigger which could be anything like pollen or exercise or smoke or um, s all different kinds of odors. There's a, a whole long list of triggers. Mold, mildew are strong triggers, mm. dust. Um, when you come across a trigger that, that is your unique trigger, and a lot of asthmatics have a number of triggers, um, what happens as th is that your lungs start to produce more mucus because they're trying to wash that, oh. that, that, that irritant away. But as your lungs are filling with mucus, what's happening, your airways, the muscles around your airways are starting to tighten up and, and constrict the airways. So you've got this inflammation, you're starting to swell, you've got mucus clogging the airways, and then you've got your airways actually getting smaller and smaller all at the same time. And um, if a at some point, eventually, they can completely close up. So it's also maybe giving an, another 
visual like like you putting water into a balloon? Like you putting water into a balloon, a lot of asthmatics will describe it as an elephant sitting on their chest. Wow. They can't breathe in and they can't breathe mm -hmm. out. Um, my son who has asthma, he keeps to, he tells me, he says, Mom, it's like having a boa constrictor wrapped around your chest. You just can't get the air in that you need to get. And a lot of what happens when you have an episode is that the oxygen level in your body starts to drop. And um, which can, you know, ultimately, if something's not done, ultimately lead to death. Oh, that is frightening, Gail. And, and it's even uh, more frightening when you talk about, you said children as young as, what, three years old or, or even Two, younger? Even younger, even younger. Um, in, in our own situation, my own family, um, my son was diagnosed at 18 months. 18 months? Mm -hmm. That young? That young. And, wow. um, you know, it, it's really hard for parents dealing with yes, children who can't even express what's going on and don't understand well, what's you, going how on. Did, how, did they find, how did you find out and how, how did you deal with it? I mean, I think, was the American Lung Association uh, a part of your life? Uh, it started out as a part of our life as at a very, it's been a part of our life for a long time. Um, my son was born six weeks premature, mm -hmm. and um, by the time he was one, he'd had RSV, he'd had pneumonia several times, oh. he'd had bronchospasms is what the doctors would call, and eventually the bronchospasms